Hello, people. I'm Javi Kowei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Beamla Nayak, theatrical trailer. Beam. It just I, I see the word Beamla, and I'm I'm thinking Beam, like Beam of Light, starring Power Star Pawan Kalyan and Rana Dagubati. Rana Dagubati is not a power star. Pawan Kalyan's the power star. Wow. I'm not saying Rana Dagubati is not a power star, like inherently, but the no, the the uh, aside. What is it called? The um, nickname. The pet name. The moniker Power Star is reserved for Pawan Kalyan. Have I dug myself a hole yet? I hope I haven't. It's starring Pawan Kalyan, Ronan Dagubadi, Nithya Menen, and Sam Yuktha. That sounds like a Japanese name almost. Wow. It is directed by Sagar K. Chandra. You guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Otherwise, I Power Star you in the face. Aya. Like Mario. <laughs> it's a me. Mario. So. Achara Kirk assumed there were subtitles on this. Well, it says that there are. And you know what they say about assuming. <laughs> assuming. <laughs> All right, here we yeah, go. Yeah, 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 I know, Let's I just know. try without the subtitles. Here we go. She's got some flexibility. What's your name is? Daniel <laughs> Shaker. Okay. Oh. Okay. Some moves. Duty and power versus. What? <laughs> Dang, okay. Fight with your pride and self esteem. Now, body look kind of sticky. Whoa! Kilometer Fans waiting ikada. Then you turn to the How to go to the custom? Word ki. All right. Dang, they did not leave a lot of time. Like so, they put this trailer out and the movie's out in like five days. Please remember, my name is not Power Star Jabby Kuwait. It is, has an opinion Jabby Kuwait. <laughs> Just wants work, Jabby Kuwait. <laughs> Happy to be here. I'll keep the coffee warm, Jabby Kuwait. So <laughs> I say all that to, you know, just qualify my statement a little bit in, in that I'm coming from a guy who sits here at his dining table speaking opinions. To the people who made the trailer, this is not an opinion on the movie at all. Right. This is an opinion on the marketing. The sound and the way the trailer was edited felt strange to me. Like there was almost a hollowness to the whole thing. It lacked some of the Bass? audio pizzazz I'm used to from trailers, whether it's Indian or American. Uh -huh. Like there is, it just lacked 
some kind, yeah, bass, something. It was something weird, and there was like an echoey sound to some of the dialogue. I don't know if that's from the film or they did that for the trailer. Even the way it was cut together, I'm like, I'm not getting that like hard hitting sensation of this is a fight scene or you know action brutal, you know right. or or whatever. It's it felt a little bit weird. Yeah, I that, don't know if that is also because like we're paying a lot more attention to it because we aren't reading subtitles and understanding. I don't all think the that's. Words. I don't. I don't think that's what it is at no. all. No, I don't think that's what it is. Although you, honestly, I I didn't actually notice that. You didn't. Okay. Well, uh, I the, did. The sound thing. Yeah, I know. But you're much more of like an audiophile than. Well, I let am, me ask so. you this, Achara Kirk. Yeah. As someone who has an opinion as well, did you feel motivated to watch this? Did you feel moved? Honestly, not particularly. Okay. Then I don't. I don't have like the love for Pawan Kalyan that I'm sure a lot of people watching do. I was, however, quite taken by Rana Dagubati because uh, he's a handsome man. Yeah. Failing knowing what the hell was going on in terms of like the exact words that were being said. I mean, obviously we can't I don't we think it's vague... hard to deduce the story yeah, from exactly. this. That's not that's not a trouble at all, yeah. But I was very distracted by his good looks. No, he is good looking. I yeah. was thinking that too. I'm like, the villain in this is a pretty good looking he's, dude. He's handsome. Um, and, yeah. But at its heart, what it feels like is you have a, a cop who's got swag yeah. and you've got a, a gangster who that's got swag. I, yeah, he's got swag too. I mean, so it's just like... Swag up the wazoo! What you have is an unstoppable object against an immovable, immovable. force. You know, it's just... Or Isn't whatever. it an immovable un, un, object against an unstoppable force? Same, same. No different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. The, the, the sound you won't notice, but a little flip flops of the words you notice. Great. I notice all the flip flops. Okay. okay. I was a little bit disheartened by the by the editing of the trailer because it felt like it did the film a disservice. That's sure. what I'm ultimately driving as. It's like, I'm. I guess the assumption is, hey, it's Power Star Power and Kali, and people are gonna watch it anyway. Maybe that's the assumption. For instance, the Marvel video game, uh, Marvel's Avengers, mm -hmm. you know, that wasn't quite as polished as it could have been. Like, it's nowhere near as polished as, I don't know, Horizon Zero Dawn or Horizon Forbidden West, right? Yeah, yeah. It completely lacks that polish of Spider-Man from Insomniac. But people bought it anyway because it's Marvel's Avengers, right? Sure. And so, riding, it might be riding on the back of that name. I have no idea. I just felt like the trailer was not as motivating for me as other trailers from the same region. Yeah, I think I think that's the thing we're kind of finding now, especially when it's something that has a very famous actor attached to it. It almost feels like there's a sense of, well, it's okay. Like, people are gonna watch it well, anyway. Yes, but I still get a vibe. Of, like, there's a vibrance to, yes. this, to the sound quality and the way it's edited, where I still am like, I get why people could get excited about this. Yeah, you, like, you, you yeah. feel the hype. Yes, yes. I, d I didn't get that here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know, there were some interesting moments in there that did amuse me where I'm like, oh, this could be fun. Paul and Kalyan has like, it was a very fleeting thing. And maybe it's something that only someone as weird and neurotic as Jabby Koe would pick up on. But like, he has this moment with his wife where he looks annoyed. And I just enjoyed that. Like you have this guy who's supposed to be an action star. In South Indian films, they never forget to include these bits where the man has issues with his wife. <laughs> Oh, or Relatable. So, or something along the lines of that, where it's just like this nagging lady that they have to put up with, but they love them, you know? Yeah, it's like yeah, there's yeah. always that element to it. And I just enjoy that. That was definitely in there where he just had this flippant look. I'm like, yeah, I like, I, yes. You're like, I felt that. <laughs> well, I mean, I know what it feels like to feel like in your own head, in your own universe, like you're this power star. Yeah, yeah. You know, making shit happen, making decisions. Then you got to deal with your Betty who just like doesn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, like that's relatable. I feel like a lot of guys who are living the traditional life, traditional as an old style, guy brings some the dough. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah. Yeah, like a lot of guys living that life, I feel like they get that, you know? They're out there making decisions. Now they're making getting, decisions. Getting like, just done. listen to me. Do what I say, not what I do. No, yeah, and the wife is just like. <laughs> Is that what it sounds like to you? Like your your future wife is just like. Oh, I can't wait to have my. I can't wait to have a wife that just is so nagging and won't stop bothering me. Why? Because I think that we all inherently want to be able to complain about shit, and it's like, what better thing to complain about than a wife that won't stop nagging you? I can't wait. I can't wait. Um. <laughs> I'm like no, I I want I want the partner where I'm like, oh my god, 
I love them. Okay, wait. What Actually, is that, that makes, accent? That makes me kind of a little sick inside. But like, you know. <laughs> That's a little bit too saccharine. A little bit. I guess it, it rides the line between, oh my God, you're so annoying. But also, I love you so much. And like, you make my life so much better. And I can't imagine my life without you. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine my life without you, my, my nagging Nancy. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the ultimate face-off between duty and power unleashes. And it's got the muscle, the muscle emoji. Muscles. Oh God. Like, it's why just an interesting they, time why, that we live in that we're using emojis, emojis, you know. I love them. But also, like, why I don't understand why they left it until this late to put out the trailer. At least, well, it, like, a couple weeks. I forgot who I asked about it, but the reason they do that is because they don't want to get copied. They don't want any uh, pirating of any kind. They, they want to, like... Surprise. Surprise, it's in your theater already. It's storming theaters worldwide. It's February 25th. I mean, literally in a few days. I think that maybe there was an assumption that it's going to make money anyway because of who it is. But also maybe there was like issues. Maybe. It's like, oh, well, we set this deadline. We need to put out a trailer. It's got to happen. So maybe that's why the sound was a little bit iffy. That's what I was thinking. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But you made it to the finish line. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, um, you guys, hopefully... Yeah, so um, let us know if you're going to watch it. That's what I would like to know. Comment below. Let me know if you're watching it. What's so funny? I was like, hurry up and close out this video because I need to sneeze, Jabby Koei. Okay. I looked at the light enough that it stopped. Okay. okay? I'm Jabby Koei. This is... Charaka. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>